Hi, welcome back to Easy Moto Tim. Recently, a viewer let me know about an issue with Basecamp and the new Zumo XT2. The problem is that Basecamp displays a message saying the Zumo XT2 is not fully supported in Basecamp. The message can be dismissed and Basecamp performs as it has with earlier units. If you have a Zumo X-T2 or are looking to buy an X-T2, I recommend you head over to Zumo Forums and review the X-T2 section. The link to Zumo Forums is in the description. It looks like the X-T2 is now part of the Tread family of products instead of the Drive family. The Zumo X-T1 interacts with the Garmin Drive app on your phone. The Zumo X-T2 interacts with the Tread app on your phone. You can create routes in the Tread app and transfer them to the X-T2. Similarly, routes you create on the X-T2 sync to the Tread app. It appears Garmin wants you to do your route planning in the app and not in Basecamp. As motorcyclists, we want to plan our routes on particular roads and make the GPS guide us on where we want to go, not where the GPS thinks we ought to go. It's much easier to do that kind of detailed routing on a computer with a good route planning program. While I haven't used the Tread app, detailed planning on a phone screen is difficult. Similarly, route planning on the Garmin Explore website is very primitive. There's no need to be concerned about Basecamp's lack of support for the X-T2. So long as Garmin devices allow you to import a GPX file, and until Basecamp stops working entirely, you can export a GPX file and copy it to your device. If Basecamp does stop working, there are plenty of other routing programs and websites you can use. They just aren't so capable as Basecamp. I've done videos on Tire to Navigate and the Harley Ride Planner if you'd like to explore other programs. My advice is to just keep using and learning Basecamp. Thanks for watching and supporting the channel. Remember, you can find all my Basecamp videos on my website. If you want to support this channel, please visit the Amazon pages on my website where I have affiliate links to products I use. Also, many thanks to those who have bought me a cup of coffee on buymeacoffee.com. In any case, I appreciate your support and all the positive comments. I'll see you in the next video.